What's going on everybody? Corey with Corey's Computer Repair. And yes, this is yet another video about a fix for a stupid issue that I couldn't find on the internet. So today we have a Dell desktop. Specifically, this is an Inspiron 3847, customers running Windows 10. Issue being the dual monitors the customer is running. Sometimes the screens go completely black and then come back on. I was thinking, okay, I'll update the drivers. Well, at the time, she was just running the onboard drivers, which was the uh, Intel HD 4600. The problem with that is there hasn't been a driver update for the HD 4600 since 2016. And there are some known incompatibilities with Windows 10. So I thought, okay, I'll go online. What is the cheapest graphics card I could get that still has current drivers? That would be this guy right here. The GeForce GT 1030. Got this guy for like 60, 70 bucks. Probably some of you are like, you could have got to use one cheaper, like $35.40 on eBay. Well, time was of the essence for this customer, and she needed it one day, so I had to get it on Amazon. So anyhow, I plugged this guy in, right? And then I also purchased this Ben Fee or Ben Fi Active, I want to make sure I say that correctly, Active v DVID to VGA adapter. And that is this guy right here. All right. And what I did is I just went, installed the card, installed the drivers. You can see HDMI is getting a picture. And then from there, I plugged in the DVID and then I plugged in to the VGA cable to the adapter. But if you can see on the left screen here, I'm getting no display. And I was kind of like, what the heck? What is wrong? If I take this same cable and plug it in right here to the onboard graphics and remove the discrete graphics card, if I remove the GT1030 and reboot the machine, I get a display. So this is a head scratcher. Now, <clears throat> for kicks, what I did is I have an extra, a brand new VGA cable. That is this guy right here. So what I'm gonna do now to show you I am going to disconnect the old cable. I'm going to plug in the brand new VGA cable. I want to make a point to say they are both 15 pin cables. I know there's a 14 and a 15 pin. I'm going to unplug the old cable. I'm going to plug in the new VGA cable. Keep an eye on the screen and I need to log in. Sorry about that. Look at that. It works. So for whatever reason, the old cable was the culprit. So if you guys get these DVID to VGA adapters and you plug it in and you go, I'm not getting a display, I need to return this thing, swap out the cable. As you could see, doing that for me, fix the issue. Now, the why factor, why did it fix the issue? I cannot figure that out. I'm not going to go down that rabbit hole as I don't have that time, but I can show you the cables side by side here. The one on the right works. The one on the left does not work. And they look perfectly fine. They look identical. I don't know, but I'm just here to let you guys know that if it's not working for you, swap out the VGA cable before you return the active VGA to DVID adapter. That did the trick for me. And now I am up and running and this customer is going to be extremely happy. I've been doing this 20 plus years, so I know it's usually the simplest things to try first. That's what I did and it fixed the issue. So I hope this helps someone else save some time and figure out what it is. Once again, this is Corey for Corey's Computer Repair. Have a great day.